I am the god of love and desire. Some call me Eros, others Cupido or Amor. But you can call me Cupid. Nice to meet you, Grim Reaper. This is not happening. Actually, Mondo, it is. It's impossible for two people to share the same hallucination. It's not real. You're not real. <clears throat> Please stop tugging on my wings. It's very unpleasant. Unpleasant? You know what's unpleasant? So, wings! Retract! Retract! What? How did you... Hey, Mondo! Marcus! What's up, y'all? Oh, hey, Sarah! What's up? Certainly not Marcus. Cause flying would be weird. Right, Marcus? Um... Sarah! I... You... Marcus? Is something wrong? No, I... Well... You... That's a nice... Um... Your hands... Hair smells nice. Uh... Thanks? Okay... <laughs> My mom's waiting. Good talk, fellas! <laughs> She's gone. You can stop swallowing your tongue now. I'm not swallowing my... Okay, I'll admit, I'm not proficient at conversing with females. You can't talk to girls? Of course I can talk to... Wings, what are you doing? We need to chat in private. Oh no. You're going to enjoy flying, Mondo. It's quite lovely up there. Once we clear the tree line. Tree line? Are you afraid of heights? No, I'm afraid of falling and crashing from heights. Huh. So you're death and you're afraid of dying. First of all, I am not death. But you should talk, bro. You're Cupid and you're afraid of girls. Okay, let go. Hold your body steady. Hey, It'll make it easier doing? to lift you. Let go. And... No, 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 no. We have lift off. Ah! Gen Z Media presents Cupid and the Reaper, Chapter 2 of The Nature Verse. Episode 2 Arrows and the Scythe. Squirming, Mondo. I need to stay at the perfect elevation so that we don't get spotted from the ground. Put me down! Put hey, us both down! You're gonna make me let go- Gotcha! You dropped me! And then I caught you. I told you not to squirm. I know what I'm doing up here. Hey! Look out for the tree! Power line! I see it. Ah! Pigeon! Get away! This is not helpful, Mondo. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm not used to flying with wings! Fine, we'll land over there in Forsyth Park. Just close your eyes or something, Reaper. Don't call me that! Bend your knees when we land. Ready? And... <clears throat> We're on the ground, Mondo. You can open your eyes now. Don't ever... Do that again. Puh. Feather in my mouth. It was no treat for me either. Wings retract. Where do those wings go? No idea. Come on, let's walk along the path. Yes, walking is good. Walking is very good. Have I told you how beautiful you look today? You make See my that life couple? So much better, darling. That's you one of mine. So what do you Charles? mean, one of yours? I love you. Charles and Rita. Too, Rita. I saw them right here in the park. Both come from big families and enjoy Post Malone and Sushi. Nine out of ten on my compatibility scale. You put them together? Psh, a couple of golden arrows later, and now, as you can see, they're in love. You shot them with arrows? It doesn't hurt them. I'm Cupid, it's what I do. Our 
Aren't you supposed to be a baby in a diaper? Aren't you supposed to be a skeleton in a robe? No. Absolutely not. Look, Monto. Love, death, these are manageable things if you know what you're doing. How... How long have you been... Cupid? Uh-huh. Oh, a long time. Almost a month. Let's go by the fountain. This is one of the most romantic places around. My dad asked my mom to marry him right at this very spot in front of the fountain. Good for them. Look, I'm sure you have a lot of questions about the whole... you being the Grim Reaper thing. I'm not the Grim Reaper. You've got to get past the denial stage, Mondo. Here, look at my phone. I've done some preliminary research. Wikipedia? Surprisingly reliable when it comes to ancient mythology. Okay. The Grim Reaper, also known as the Angel of Death or Thanatos. According to the legend, if you kill the Grim Reaper, you are cursed with his job for eternity. I didn't kill anyone. Well, your promposal kinda caused the Reaper's death, so... It was an accident. I was saving Harper's life. Like I said, I'm no expert. So is that how you became Cupid? You killed the last one? Of course not! It's a long story. Point is, I have a job to do, and so do you. So you could just make any two people fall in love? There's more to it than that. Can I see you do it? Mondo, it's not a party trick. Love can't just roam free. I've created a controlled formula. Come on, loosen up. How about that guy over there, on the bench? And the woman with the dog? I'd need to do more research on their common interests values. She's got a dog. He fed that squirrel a piece of his sandwich. Both animal lovers. Boom. Animal lovers. Well, it's a start. I just need to input this into the algorithm I created. She's leaving! Come on, let's do this! Now or never, Cupid! <sighs> Fine. Wings! And there they are again. Quiver. Golden arrows. Cool. And some gray ones with dull points. Don't touch! Oh, sorry. So, how does this work? You shoot them both? The arrows have different levels of potency. Some are stronger than others. Once someone's heart has been pierced, they'll fall in love with the next person they see. So, timing is pretty important. Crucial. Stand back, please. Bo. Sagita una corda dua. One arrow, two hearts. Bullseye! Got them both right in the heart with one arrow. Of course I did. I'm the greatest archer in the world. And now, the dog loving woman spots the squirrel feeding man on the bench, and a love connection is made. like that, huh? What do you mean? No, I just... It feels wrong, somehow. Like you're tricking people into falling in love. You're the one who wanted me to do it. I'm just saying, isn't love supposed to be spontaneous and natural? Like me and Harper? Enough about my powers. We've got to figure out yours. I know someone who can help us. He's back at the school. Stay away from me! No more flying! You know, I'm pretty sure you can teleport. Teleport? So that's what it was. It's happened already? Okay, yes, but I have no idea how. I mean, I grabbed that scythe thing, and- The scythe! Do you have it with you? Yeah, it's in my backpack. It's always in my backpack. Who's that? That is Cerberus. She talks about souls a lot. Cerberus? Like the three-headed dog that guards the underworld? Interesting. Whatever. Let's give this a shot, okay? Cerberus, how do we, you know, teleport? Grab the scythe and bang it twice on the ground, Reaper. Stop calling me that. 
<sighs> okay, Marcus. Grab hold of my hand. One. Two. Welcome to Belize. Okay, this is not the school. Oh, you figured that out, did you? Cerberus, I didn't want to go to the middle of a jungle. Technically, we're in the South American rainforest. Cerberus, bounce! Yokoso, Tokyo. Again, not school. Yeah, I got that. I've always wanted to visit Tokyo. Fascinating city. Cerberus, school. Please! Why didn't you say so, Reaper? School hallway. Finally! You have one new soul to collect. Yeah, yeah. Cerberus. Silent mode. Silent mode. Activated. You should probably do something about that soul mod, though. I don't even know what that means. Well, hopefully Mr. Ismail will know what to do. Ismail? The new technology teacher? Yeah, he's more than that. Although he never gives me a straight answer. Mr. Ismail? It's Marcus. Cupid? I'm here with the Reaper. I said, don't call me that. Whatever you say, Reaper. Hello? Are you there? <sighs> Locked. Mr. Ismail doesn't appear to be inside. Maybe he has a manual in there or something. I'm going in. What are you going to do? Teleport? Did I mention that I could walk through walls? Let me see what happens when I put on the robe. Hood up. It's kinda itchy. Smells weird too. Oh. Listen to my voice. Bondo? Yeah? Just checking. You're aware that you're invisible, right? I am now. Let me go open the door for you. Mondo? Mondo? Are you there? Mondo? <gasps> ah! What? Just be careful about removing that robe in front of people with no warning. Whatever. Come on in. I'll look around his desk. You see if you could get into his computer. This is really against the rules. Dude, you're Cupid. Rules don't apply to you. Actually, there's a very defined set of rules. Hey, who's that girl on Mr. Ismail's computer screen? I don't know, but she's very pretty. I mean, her hair seems so shiny and- Pull it together, dude. I'm just pointing it out. As an objective observer. What is that thing on her shoulder? A giant rat? I believe it's an apostle. Someone's coming in. Oh, hey, Mr. Ismail. Mondo and I... What are you two doing in here? Principal Durant? Mondo Ramirez. I should have known the alert was about you. And you've pulled Marcus into your scheme. I can explain. Well, actually, I can't. Principal Durant, you know that I am an excellent student, unlike Mondo. Hey! I also know that you have started to slip over this last month. Yes, well, I... I've had another... project. This is unacceptable, and punishment will be handed down. Expect attention, and possibly more. More? Excuse me, uh, Ms. Durant? Mr. Apep, what is it? I happen to be passing by, and, uh, as you know, Mondo is one of my students, and I think I may have a solution to this problem. Mmm, a novel punishment? Mondo, Marcus, why don't you guys wait in the hall while we chat? You got it, Mr. Apep. Are we in trouble? Come on, Marcus. Let's let the grown-ups talk. Principal Durant scares me. She's not a bad person, Marcus. Just unhappy, I think. And she takes it out on us kids. But I just came up with a brilliant solution. We start being more careful about following her rules? Or you 
that make her fall in love. What? With whom? Oh, I don't know. Maybe with a great guy who is funny and caring and knows a lot about literature. Mr. Apep? And Principal Durant? Why not? He seems lonely too. They're perfect for each other. I don't know. That sounds like... It's Harper. Tell her I said hi. I will not. Hi. What? I can't hear you. Harper! Harper! What's wrong? She's in trouble. We have to get to her. I'll fly. I can do better. Hold on to the scythe. We're coming, Harper! Hey, boss. Yeah, Project Reaper is underway. I'm letting Cupid take the lead for now, but I'll jump in once I'm back in Savannah. Seems like a good time for a check-in out west. I'll give you an update later. <laughs> I do like that doorbell. <laughs> hey, look who it is. Oscar the Opossum. What's new, Double O? Chloe and Felix down in the command center? Okay, let's go say hi. Let's take a global view of Sector 7. You got it, Nature. How's the weather looking today, Team Nature? Ismail! Good to see you, Nature. Now you're calling me that, too? Look, when a nickname works, it works. What's up, Ismail? Hey, Felix. You guys are killing it out here. And by killing it, I mean not killing everything on the planet. Thanks for noticing. At least someone does. Problem? Chloe's coming up on her first anniversary as Mother Nature. And she's feeling a little sensitive about the whole climate change thing. The harder I work to keep things in balance, the more I feel like every person on Earth is working against me. Except Greta. Greta's cool. Greta's definitely cool. So, Ismail, what brings my favorite driver out here to Mother Nature HQ? Just wanted to say hi. I've been craving those giant oranges from your garden. Felix, do you believe Ismail came here to say hi and eat citrus fruits? No, Nate, can't say that I do. That's funny. Neither do I. Okay, okay. I did want to check on something. Did you happen to notice a little rough patch we ran into in Savannah a couple days ago? A rough patch in Savannah. Did we notice, Felix? We sure did. It was what we in the Mother Nature biz call an anomaly. Meaning? Meaning we have no idea what it was or where it came from. But I have a feeling you do, so what's going on, Ismail? You know... The world is a big place, Chloe. That's not an answer. There are forces out there. Nature. Love. Death. Love and death? So here's the thing. You're not the only one who's doing the job. Boom! It worked! This is your house, right? Come on, let's go inside and find Harper. Don't do anything... Reaperish in front of my parents. They don't know... about you? Of course not. Marcus, you're home. Hey, bud. Mom, Dad, where's Harper? Have you seen her? Mondo, right? Yes. Hi, Mr. Aronson. Mrs. Aronson. Brian, sweetheart, do you know where Harper is? No, darling, you were with her in the kitchen. What that is was before happening? she went into your We've study. We've got to find my Harper. Love. I don't think it was, but who am I to correct the love of my life? Never stopped you before, sweetness. Let's go check the backyard. What's up with your parents? Nothing. Uh, what do you mean? It's like they were fighting, but not. Let's just find Harper. Harper? It's dark out here. I can't see anything. Careful. Here, I'll turn on my phone's flashlight. Whoa! What happened to your backyard? My dad decided to give my mom a romantic birthday surprise. So he woke up one morning, rented a backhoe, and started digging a pool. On his own? Does he know how to do that? Not at all. That's why it's just a giant mud hole. Shh. 
You hear that? Running water. It's the hose. Is someone trying to fill the pool? Wait! I see something! At the bottom! Shine the flashlight! It's Harper! Harper! I'll fly down there and get her. Wings! Harper! Harper! Is she okay? She's under the water! Bring her up! I can't! Her foot's stuck! I got this! Sight time! Hurry! Cerberus! Bottom of the hole! It's gonna be okay, Harper. Put your hand on the scythe. Got her. I'll set her on the ground. Harper! Harper, can you hear me? She's okay! She's okay! Wings, retract! Mar Marcus? What happened? <laughs> How did you end up down in the hole? I was... I was making a poster for the climate change protest. The wind came in and <laughs> knocked it in. You went after it? I reached for the poster, but a branch fell and it turned on the hose. <laughs> I slipped in the mud and fell in and, and then the hose did too. That's a lot of bad luck. Yeah. But... You, you found me. I did. We did. Mondo. <laughs> yes? I'm here, Harper. You're safe now. Mondo, get away from me. What? Get away. I, I don't want you around me. What? What did I do? I don't know. I'm... I I'm going inside. I'll take you. No, Marcus. Let her go. You stay here. All right. Harper, make sure Mom and Dad check you out, okay? Please make Wanda leave. That was close. What a strange series of events. You did this, didn't you? I don't know what you mean. You put your parents back together after their divorce. You shot them with golden arrows. You have one soul to collect. That's not really your business. What are the gray ones for? I need to go check on my sister. And you need to do your job. The gray arrows with the dull tips. I saw them in your quiver, at the park. The gold ones make people fall madly in love, right? What do the gray ones do? Soul uncollected. Soul uncollected. You really have to do something about Cerberus. Answer the question, Cupid. The gray arrows... are lead-tipped. They cause... aversion. Aversion? Like the person doesn't want to be around you anymore. That's right. You shot your sister with that. To make her not want to be around me. Didn't you? I'm simply doing my job. Based on research and statistical- That's not your job! Alert. Mortality imbalance. Alert. You need to start doing your job. Of all the people in the world, you're in charge of love. You're just using those arrows to make people do what you want. Isn't that what you're good at? Getting the whole school to help you with your crazy promposal? I'm getting out of here. Where are you going? To collect the soul? To get away from you. I don't need a wingman. I don't want anything to do with you or your magic arrows. Alert. Okay, Cerberus. Let's do this thing. Scythe? Robe? Later, Cupido. Hospital. We're back at the hospital? Why? Okay, this seems bad. What's everybody running from? What? Wait, I know that guy. It's the old man. The one who died in the hospital room. Only, he's not dead. Yeah. Zombie? Morning. 